And these are my sculptures that are in the show this month or April. What is this called? This is vertebra number three. And the whole, whole show is a series called vertebra one through six. And the vertebra comes from, name comes from the, the wood part. And I've always been interested in bones and like the looks of bones and the concave shapes that they have. And vertebra have been in my life and in my sculpture for quite a while. Henry Moore is definitely one of my influences. Um, he's into bones. I've seen him. Yeah, he, he's always liked bones also. Yeah. So I, I don't know. They're just instead of being all convex, I like concave, mm -hmm. and and how it feels when you touch it and rub your hand, run your hand through it, and then. The steel, I used to, when I was in college many years ago, I did almost exclusively welded steel and I haven't done any for a long time and decided it was time to get back into it. And so I did some practice pieces and then I came up with... So the, you work with the wood first and then you uh, form the... Uh... Yeah, I, I do the wood, get it finished, and then I do the base piece of steel, put it on a pedestal so it's at the right height, mm -hmm. and then start fabricating the and legs out of mild steel. And these are bolted at They're the bolted to each other, which makes for easy transportation because you can unbolt it and move it wherever you, wherever you uh -huh. need to take it. Um, what kind of wood is this? This one is made out of cherry wood that someone that was had cut down a tree because it was in the way had donated to me. All the wood here is local. It's all been donated from trees that have been cut down. So I'm not buying wood that people shouldn't be. This piece of wood is oak and it was cut down for to put a driveway into for a garage. Um, and it sat out in my driveway for at least three years curing. It still, wood still checks mm -hmm. in the drying process, but I, I just leave it. I like the way this thing uh, comes up here, like a, almost like a pointed. Almost like uh, a pagoda. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot, you know, everything that you do in life influences you somehow in, in what mm -hmm. you're doing. And then the steel is just mild steel, and it's, most of it's been heat treated mm -hmm. uh, to get that purple blue color in it. But you pound it when uh, it's cold? I pound it when it's cold, and I just cut pieces, get them the shapes I want, and then tack them together, and then do the next piece until I have three legs normally. And then you finish this um, uh, with uh, some kind of a. It's, this one is just sprayed with uh, clear Rust-Oleum mm -hmm. and the top of these are uh, coated with five coats of what's called teak oil, uh -huh. which is made to be used on decks of teak boats. Serious? Yeah, this is actually the first one I did uh -huh. and it was out in the weather for almost a year so that it started to darken from the, some of the finish wearing off, but I, for the show I refinished it. You do these things here to like uh, cut this off here. It's all done with chisels. Uh -huh. Yeah. Nothing. Uh, it's all manual. I mean, it's, it's all no, yeah. It's all manual. No. There's no other than you know cutting the piece. I don't use uh, power tools uh -huh. on it. Uh -huh. So yeah, it's rather labor intensive, but I really enjoy doing it. This piece is apple wood that came from my father's uh, house. And it's probably the one that's the least vertebra shaped, but I still like it and I like how the steel is. And this one is coated with um, spar varnish so that it should be good outside. And yeah, the bottom, the steel is also coated with spar varnish. Yeah, this is a nice one. 
So this is one different because it's got the added piece of wood wood on it. One, two, and yeah, there's three three pieces of wood added. Both of the wings, and then this front. Well, it's not front, but this piece here. And it's it's probably the one that's the most like a vertebra, mm -hmm. and it comes pretty close to well, kind of close to the elk vertebra that I found in the Balawas this last summer when we were hiking. And then when I did the top and did the steel base, it didn't feel finished, so I added the three small little vertebra shapes to utilize that. So it tie, ties in the metal. Right, it ties, metal. It ties the whole piece together, yeah. which yeah. It wasn't happening before. Uh -huh. yeah. So. Well, thanks, Greg. Thank you.